welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 181. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is James. Hello, everybody. How are you doing, man? Uh, I'm doing. You're doing? You're doing what? <laughs> I'm doing just just that. Is that uh, when you get on the when you get on the workflow and you start working on commissions, nothing else nothing else matters. So I have been sitting in front of this desk for like the entire week, haven't done anything else, haven't gone out, didn't go to the movies. Uh, to my regret or maybe relief, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how this summer is being movie wise, but by the looks of it, it seems to be really disappointing. And well. Not much else, really. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Also joining us is Ro. Hello, cool new people. <laughs> hey there, Ro. How are you doing, man? Awesome, awesome. I haven't technical issues, but it's fixed, and we're back in business. Yay. Back on the road. And I've been watching We Care... No, what was that show called? Oh, yeah, We Bear Bears. Oh, that that show. How is it? I love it. Really, you know? Yes. Huh. I, I love I, all the three I characters. seen a lot of... Tumblr images of them and GIFs. It looks like fun. It is, man. It is. <laughs> alright, alright. Well, as for me, I got no idea. I'm just really... How do I put this? Out of it, it's kind of a derpy week for me. I can say the same about my week. It's been full of... Well, seems like nothing happened. Yet a few technical difficulties happen now and then. Kind of a really slow start, you know. Mm, true, Cosmic true. energy, man. Cosmic energy. What does that even mean? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no other scientific explanation as to why some things happen and not go the way we want them to go or plan them to go. No matter how organized we are, we all have one of those days. And the only explanation I can come up with is cosmic energy, because it makes more sense to me, at least to me, I don't know. If anyone has a better explanation, do please write me an email or tweet me on my Twitter. I'll be more than happy to listen to it. <laughs> All of this all just for selfless self-promotion. I didn't even say what my Twitter was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Go check my Twitter, go check my Tumblr. (laughs) It would be a plug-in if I told what the location was. Uh, It's a plug, it's still a plug. It doesn't change if the socket is different. Uh, I guess you're right. We have enough plug for last week's episode. Come on. True. True. Right then, moving on swiftly. (laughs) Yeah, moving on swiftly. You, You know, with all this... Chaotic cosmic energy that's going on. You, you know what would be awesome? Like, you know what would be awesome? Ice cream. That, and also some Kinder Surprise. I haven't had a Kinder Surprise in ages. <laughs> you guys know what's that? Like, yes, it's that little chocolate egg where you have a little marble toy inside, or now it's made of plastic. I remember the days when Kinder Surprises had the marble toys. Oh, those were the good old really? days. Marble? <laughs> Yeah, marble. They were completely marvelous. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I did not intend that pun. That kind of slipped out of my tongue. I apologize. <laughs> no, no. Uh, what, what about you? I did not intend that. What about you, James? Slipped. Have you had a Kinder before? Of course. Uh, when I was a kid, my my parents used to buy me two Kinder surprises. Oh, I haven't had one before. Like the only Kinder I remember is Kinder Bueno, and that was pretty good. I, I wish I could try this one. It looks pretty fun. Oh, you mean Kinder Bueno or Kinder? When? <laughs> no, you weren't gonna go there, my friend. But you know what? I-, I might try the new Kinder eggs. Because you know why? Why? Because there's a pony toy inside. That was a matter of time. Yes. It was only a matter of time. Yes, indeed. And, well, in this Kinder Surprise or Kinder Bueno, you know what the Kinder eggs thingy? There's gonna be ponies in them. And, from the looks of it, there's going to be a split from uh, Equestria Girls to the normal ponies. So this is going to be fun. Like, you eat chocolate eggs and you get pony toys. And, well, what 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 could go wrong with that, right? A lot of things. You have never gotten a Kinder Surprise. You definitely don't know how inaccurate and sometimes terrible the toys look in the, on the inside. Like, back then, they, back then they were fine. But nowadays, they have kind of lost their flair. Uh, how, how bad is they it? They don't look, they, they don't look, they don't look as hot as they used before. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, um, pretty terrible. Really? Yeah, I have to agree on that one. Last time I seen a Kinder Surprise, it was just a plastic little toy car. Like, it was just not what I remember. I mean, back then, yes, it was just Marvel, but at least it was something good to look at. And I was just like, what is this? Hmm. Does Kinder Surprise have a budget cut of like 90% or something? 
I don't know, but <laughs> uh, let's just say that uh, I got no idea because I haven't tried one. And maybe when I get one, and I'll report back and see what the changes are because I don't know. All I know is Kinder are nice. They, they taste good. Yeah. They taste good. So too bad the USA won't have a taste of it. True that. True that. Really? Yep. Is, it, is it Europe exclusive? No. Uh, no. No, the thing is, the US has a, like a law policy product thing that you can't have little things in it. It's like a real choking hazard. That's why Kinder Surprise were banned for ages now in, in the US. You know that the Kinder Surprise, it's like an empty shell, and then the inside is a capsule that you actually need to have the, the strength of Conan the... That's f- not a word! ...barbarian in order to open it, right? <laughs> I know. Not Well, okay, even if you do get to open it, there's still the little choking hazards, which the US of A had a lot of lawsuits <laughs> with in the past, <laughs> so they had to put a ban hammer on that. The, the thing, the thing yes. is, the thing is, the more I think about it is, the whole egg, it's not really an chocolate egg. It's just a capsule where you need to open it and you eat the... I know, I know. Food. Like, like, here's the thing. Like, that kid must be really special. You, you are... Is it about the same time they they, pro, they prohibited the use of, like, Halloween apples because people thought that they were putting razors inside the apples? I don't know, Ouch. man. There was an urban legend uh, derived from from a, a couple of news, news heads uh, talking about how a couple of relatives had poisoned their kids with uh, with Halloween candy, and then they were starting to spread the rumor that somebody was putting razor blades inside apples. Oh yeah, I, I so know when the kids God. were playing bobbin apples, it wasn't true. Uh, the the thing that they were used, they were like they were using poison candy to kill the to kill the children. Oh, and wow. that's what start, that actually did happen. Yeah, but, but still, <laughs> that's not. Nice. It was like, it's not some. It's kind of surprise. Come on, how harmful it can be to a kid. Uh, I don't know, but... A- aside from raising its cholesterol levels <laughs> and putting him on, di- on a diabetes uh, life for the rest of his existence. Uh, what, the, no what is the other problem? Everything is fine besides that. I, mean, come on. I already said choking has all toy parts that you need to connect yeah. with. You need to connect things. True. I-, I do agree with you on Some that. Some kids are not light enough to not put those things in their mouth. Mm. Well, uh, from one kid to another... Miley Cyrus, you guys remember her, right? Who's that again? Uh, I came in like a wrecking yeah. ball. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah but with the she worked in construction or something? <laughs> no, she, What's with all the wrecking balls? She she is a celebrity. She sings songs. Sure, but I'm pretty sure she turned a lot of males into bisexuals <laughs> at this point. Probably. I have no idea. Construction, but okay. I got no idea. But you know what? Here she comes again. And, well, apparently she's a brony. A hardcore one. Yeah, she is. She is. Well, this is not news, really. She has been a brony for like a while. Mm-hmm. And, well, it's, it's just surprising to see that she is one of the few bronies out, well, celebrity bronies out there that's showing her pride. You know what I mean? You know that for her, this is another platform to promote her videos, mm, right? True. And her stuff. And she's like, oh, if these guys, I, if these guys like me, they will like my fans. Miley Cyrus is not a very good singer. No I that. don't think she's a very good dancer either. I, I like her as a, okay. I like, I like her as a, per- I like her as a person though. I think that as a person she's, uh, a lot less screwed over than people, than the press makes it out to be. Like, the, the image that people have of Miley Cyrus is very TMC-ish. Mm. Oh. Uh, when in fact she's not a lot like that. Like, yeah, she has her flair, she has her, you know, exaggeration and all that, but come on, guys. She smiles better than Justin Bieber, just, just <laughs> I, I guess. Yeah. Anything's better than JB, even me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I agree with you on that, man. I agree with you on that. Even G3 is better. G3.5. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, let's not go that Oh, <laughs> uh, it's not that bad. A scale of, of, of te- terribleness. Uh, but hey, this, this is fascinating. She has a book. I, I don't know what Miley has, but it's a rarity book? You know, you know what's that, James? It's one of those, uh, choose your own adventure coloring activity books that little children buy and then bronies buy in order to fill them with, uh, That's Oh, God, no, no. Yeah, I, I'm with Ro. I want to buy one of those. <laughs> oh, talking about those books, you remember last week when we recorded and you said you want the coloring books? I want one of those coloring books. I definitely do. 
one of the listeners, they mentioned that they have a few and they might be giving it away. I, I don't know. Where can they catch you, man? Just poke me on Twitter, man. Just poke me on Twitter. All right. All right. Twitter, Twitter's a good place. And also from last week, um, we go to My Little Pony, The Art of Equestria, the art book. And the first appearance of that book is going to be launched at New York Comic Con 2015. So, yay. Mm, of course. Another Comic Con. Yeah, but I really want this. Like, literally, like, seriously, I want this. This is awesome. Like, last week I mentioned about the comics with the art and stuff from the comics. Yeah, that that's okay, physical form. But this is what I really want. It's behind the scenes on how they do the work of the ponies and stuff. That is what I really want, man. Yeah, it's always interesting to see a little behind the scene of how everything was created. The little history of things, you know? Yeah, and also the process of everything. This is what I want. Like, talk about your art books and talk about your behind the scenes stuff. This is what every brony should have. I'm sure this will look well in your collections of books, James. Like, your art books that you have. You know, the thing with this art book, I am not entirely sure if I'd actually buy it. Really? This is like... Yeah, because... Yeah, I know, I know. I know what it is, but... Uh, it needs to have more than that. Hmm. Like, what, what, do you, what do you want? What I look on a book, on an art book, when I'm buying it, is not the vision of just one artist, but of all the artists that were involved into making both the show and the comics. So, and I'm not just looking for finished piece, pictures, but also for, like, the, the processing which they follow to... Uh, come up with these designs. Mm -hmm. Just to put it like this, an art book without the original sketches by Lauren Faust is worthless for me. That is the inception. If they are going to release an, an art book, they will have to consider dusting off that show Bible that they made, that design document that they came up with, uh, that Lauren Faust came up with, because that is the foundation of the show. And even though they don't use that anymore, uh, they put it aside in order to continue with their own show Bible. Uh, uh, it's, it's, if it wasn't for that, this show wouldn't exist. Mm. That was the, the seed that created everything else. You should take that into account. Did they create a new show Bible? I, I don't think so, right? Yes. Uh, Jason, Th yes, they did. Oh. Jason Thiessen said on an interview that a long time ago they stopped using the, the original show Bible that, uh, Lauren came up with. And they are using their own. Mm. And that makes a lot of sense because Lauren Faust's input stopped by the uh, second half of season mm. two. She was involved in creating episodes for the first half of season, for all of season one and the first half of season two. She helped with Luna Eclipse, with the Return of Harmony, and with the Hearth's Warming Eve episode, I think. Any episode that had a big, inf a bigger amount of mythology. And uh, she had a big part in too. And then she stepped down from it. Mm, well, so by the time sense. Lauren, Lauren, by the time Lauren left the show because of creative differences due to, you know, well, we need to have a princess in there. What do we have? Oh, we're we're going to have princess cadence. <laughs> and it, it was actually over cadence that they were arguing. Wow. Lauren wanted to have a unicorn. Hasbro wanted to have an alicorn. Mm. Lauren said, this breaks the canon that I had created for the show. There are only two alicorns. And Hasbro was like, yeah, but we want this because we're a toy company and the Princess Celestia toys are not selling well because people want the white Celestias. They don't want the pink Celestias. <laughs> who, okay, in terms of who was the smart guy who created the pink Celestia? Like, dude. Um, uh, the, sa the, sa the same person who keeps putting toys divided in blue and pink for kids, for boys and girls. Uh. And, I am not going to blame that person. I mean, come on. This is, it's what you are used to. Yeah, it's what true. you have been accustomed to. But I don't know. I mean, as a kid, I was a bit nitpicky with my toys in terms of how accurate they are. Like, I, I would remember that if I had a Transformer, let's say Optimus Prime, I wanted to look like how it looked on the box or in the show to be as accurate <laughs> as possible. You fool. Hey, it's not my fault. You fool. But you foolish. But I don't know. I mean, to me, when if I were a kid and I had a Celestia toy and it was pink, I would not want to buy it because Celestia's white in the show. Why is she pink? Well, technically, Celestia is a very, 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 very pale, very, 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 very pale shade of pink. <laughs> yeah, but still. go look at it. Go look at it into Photoshop. She actually <laughs> does have pink skin. But still. <laughs> Technicalities. Please don't be another incident. <laughs> uh, but still, but still. But hey, anyway, if you guys want, Back to the castle. 
but still, if you want Lauren, if you still want Lauren Fox's work, she's doing a movie called Medusa. So that's cool. Coming out next year, I think. Mm-hmm. And another thing that she's working on is them fighting herds. The new title from Main Six. That's the fighting game. That I really forgot the, about that one. Yeah, that is the main, the, the fighting is magic game that got transformed into one of the most badass names ever, actually. I like that name. Yeah, the fighting herds. Uh, like, that's so cool. Uh, so the thing is with them is that they just, um, pattern the name and they're going to start an Indiegogo campaign somewhere around September 21st or maybe sooner. And, well, if you guys are interested in supporting them, well, just head over to, well, I don't have the links right now, but once it's up, EQD will post it and we'll report it on it soon. So, yeah, go support them. Like, this is a cool project. From the original conception of Fighting is Magic to this, this is going to be fun. And another game for me and you, Ro, to play. I already kind of, I'll be honest, I already kind of forgot about that game because it's been, been in development for such a long, long time. I mean, I know it's going to come out earlier than Half-Life 3, but... Uh, well, the Indiegogo campaign is going to start soon, so that gives you hope. Right. And, well, if you... Well, usually how Indiegogo campaign work is if you help back the game, you'll get some benefits. For example, with mine, I did uh, my team number 9. I pop in a few bucks, and I'm going to get a free copy of the game. So, yay! And can't forget your name on the title. Oh, yeah, that's what I did for the... What should I call this... Um, interview that Brony documentary, yeah, the Brony doc, the one that John Lindsay did. Yep, names there too. Yay! So this is gonna be fun. Hope so we've, I've been waiting for such a long time. I already forgot yeah, that I was waiting. <laughs> uh, been waiting. Yep, yep. Been waiting. <laughs> been waiting. Uh, but uh, we we need to wait a bit more. But anyway, uh, we reach our end. Been waiting. <laughs> uh, we reach our end. And sorry for the lack of guests and the lack of news, guys, because it's one of those weeks. But cosmic energy. Oh, it's one of those months, really. Uh, I mean, what's going on with August? That it's like everybody is out on vacation or something. It's like, what? What is? It's so weird, isn't it? It's like people are sup- aren't supposed to go on vacation. They're supposed to stay in front of the com- their computers all day doing nothing. Oh no, wait a minute. This is just us three losers, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Sorry. Also, you're gonna have to censor that word in Canada, Norman. You're gonna get in trouble. Which one? Loser. Why? You cannot say loser on TV. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. For Since them, when? loser is wor- for them is loser is loser is worse than worse than. That's not a word. <laughs> really now? Oh, it, 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 no. Uh, seriously, I am not making this up. You lo- you go watch My Little Pony on Canada. They actually censor loser. Huh. Half of Gilda's dialogue is censored over there. <laughs> So how does it sound then? Oh, you bleep. <laughs> no. That would be actually yeah. funny to watch. <laughs> Move to Canada. Makes little, Canada makes my little pony ten times worse. <laughs> we don't have a king here. <laughs> Hang on, you beep. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. I wish we knew that sooner, James, when we reviewed that episode. Oh, that would be much funny. Ah, uh, well, we know it for the so next. Maybe they're using Sweetie Bot as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> we never did uh, put a pad or patent. Patent, was it? No, on Sweetie Bot? We can't, so. we can't. We can't put a patent on Sweetie Bot. She's everyone's to use. Yeah, so Canada definitely made good use of her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, well, we, we'll try and... Well, I'll see what I can do, James. Uh, Sweetie Bot got a lot of work to do. <laughs> uh, but anyway... Uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can send them at show at gmail.com. And if you like to tweet to the show, um, you can reach tweetybot at show at gmail.com. She'll do stuff like announce the next episode coming out, or, well, she'll announce the episode and the episode review that's coming out, and also she'll announce the live stream that will be streaming on Cantalot Hill. And also, if you want to reach me, you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And currently tickling my fancy is nothing. I'm a very boring person. <laughs> James, what yes, about you? You are, Norman. <laughs> you are. Uh, you can always, you can always find me under your bed, sleeping at night, tweeting on my Twitter, uh, which is uh, at James Cork, or 
You can check my DeviantArt on jamescork.deviantArt.com and also feel free to check my uh, Ask blog on askmovieslate.tumblr.com. Yay. And Ro? You can find me at my Twitter at Relicious underscore art. I normally retweet other people's web comics and art, spreading the art of the four corners of the universe and beyond that point. Because being an artist and trying to get his name out there is hard work. And we're going to help each other in any possible way we can. So that's that. True that, true that. And you can check out my DeviantArt gallery at Relicious.DeviantArt.com, where I post all of my waifu pictures and more. Oh, no. I mainly just waifu pictures. <laughs> Did I mention my very lonely artist? Uh, uh, oh no. <laughs> Hello, darkness. Safe from work. <laughs> Partially. Uh, i with you again. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can, ca- you can also catch us on PonyvilleLive.com. Links will be provided in show notes. Uh, I have enormous sons of silence. <laughs> and I am relicious, rhymes with delicious. <laughs> uh, I'll, oh, we'll catch you guys next week with another. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Bro, take us out. Last lonely episode. Yeah. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Remember, no refunds. Bye. Bye.